Yes, what's happening everybody? Hope you're all doing all right. Welcome back to the channel. The final whistle's just gone at St Mary's Stadium where United have come away with all three points, beating Southampton three goals to two. And boy, did we make that harder work than it needed to be. But the win does mean that United are now up to sixth place in the Premier League. Only four points off our friendly Liverpudlian rivals down the East Lanks Road with a game in hand over them as well. Still, Ollie out in it. But, like I say, we made that much more difficult than it needed to be today. United heading into this game, we were looking to, like I say, make up, make up ground on the teams above us. And we started off really, really well. We went with a bit of a diamond in midfield with Matic, Fred, uh, Bru uh, Van der Beek keeping his place after playing well against Istanbul in midweek with Bruno ahead of him. And that midfield diamond really, really... It, it really caused Southampton problems in that opening 20 minutes. We were knocking about the ball really well. We were controlling things. We were creating chances. I mean, Mason should have had one who, who, who started up front alongside Marcus. And I think if he'd have had maybe a goal behind him, I think he might have rifled that in the back of the net. It was a, a finish of someone who needs a bit of confidence. Bruno also missed a guilt edge chance, which you'd have expected him to take. Rashford also missed a decent opportunity in the second half. So we were creating chances. But then, same old mistakes came, came and hit us square in the bollocks. Set pieces. Again, how many times have I sat here in front of this camera and said, we gave away needless individual errors from set pieces, conceding set pieces after set pieces after set pieces. And if there's one team you don't want to give set pieces to, is Southampton. First one's a corner from James Ward Prowse, and it's a decent delivery. It's a very good delivery, actually. But Rashford needs to do better. He needs to do better in sticking with his man. I know he's not a defender, but if you've got a job at a corner, regardless of what position you play, you do that job. And Rashford, as much as I love the kid, just simply didn't do enough to prevent that goal. And then, no sooner we conceded that one than Fred goes and makes a needless challenge right on the edge of the area. And James Ward Prowse doesn't need two opportunities at that. Fantastic free kick, but David Dea does get his hand to it. So, in my opinion, if you're getting your hand to it, you, you should be keeping it out. If you can't get your hand to it, then it's beating yours that all ends up. But if you can stretch across and get your hand to it, then maybe you should be doing better in keeping that out. Maybe I'm being harsh on, on De Gea. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Should they have done better with that? Uh, but that's two in a week that he's conceded similar type of goals to that. You can remember the one against Istanbul, very similar. And it didn't look like he'd learnt his lesson. So we were headed into half-time, 2-0 down. Then, rang the changes. Henderson came on for David Dea, and Edison Cavani came on for Mason Greenwood. And we took a little bit of time to get into it in the second half, I'll be honest. Southampton did start better, but we started to get a bit of momentum. And Edison Cavani, his introduction... Excellent. I mean, for the first goal, he picks out Bruno Fernandes really, really well with a with a little bit of a, a, a cross from the right-hand side. Really good pick out. Uh, and, and Bruno, this time, manages to find the back of the net. And then the second one, real poacher's finish. Bruno Fernandes smashing the ball across from a corner. Or at least it gets played out and then he smashes it across. And whilst everyone else would be standing there watching. Cavani isn't. He's active. He's moving. He's gambling. And the gamble paid off. Gets on the end of that, that low hit ball into the box and stays it past McCarthy to get us back on level terms. And they're right at the death. Edinson Cavani, good, good goal all round, if I'm honest. From Bruno's quick thinking from the free kick to Rashford's great ball into the box. And then, again, Cavani gambling, movement, into that near post, something that I have been saying for months and months and months. As much as I love Anthony Martial and as much as I love the rest of our forwards, the one thing that every one of our forwards, apart from Cavani, lack is that little bit of an half movement towards that near post. And that's exactly what happened with the winning goal. Fantastic, fantastic gambling header from Eddington Cavani. And for me... Moving forward, Cavani has to start games because 
We look better with him being on the pitch as a team. We've got a focal point that can can occupy the centre, the opposition centre halves. It drags them out of position, as we saw against Istanbul, with his movements deep. It drags opposition centre halves out of position. He's a threat in the air. His movement is better than all our other centre forwards. So for me, Edinson Cavani, at least on recent form, has to start games and. He's pretty. Even though he only played one half, probably my man of the match today. Uh, there was a couple of decent performances. I'll be honest. We, we were unlucky to be two goals down. I thought Van der Beek was solid again in midfield, um, and I thought he really tidy on the ball. Uh, Bruno, Bruno had a bit of an iffy game because he looked great at some things, and then some things he looked like he was trying too hard, especially after he spurned that early chance. Um, Rashford didn't look fit I don't think I still think he's got that shoulder issue that's that's niggling him we know how long it takes for him to get back after picking up injuries if, certainly if they've not fully recovered which I have my doubts if they have I thought Tellez was decent I, I know he didn't really chip in with anything uh, in the final third but I just I just noticed how refreshing it was that he was getting the ball in, into his feet and immediately looking to play it forward Whereas Luke Shaw would take three or four touches, and that would st stagnate any sort of uh, sort of attack that we had. Whereas Tellez gets on the ball on the half turn and looks forward. He plays it forward, and that's exactly what we lack. Um, Wambasaka, I think, looked solid defensively and started to compute, contribute a bit in the final third. And the two centre halves, I think. Which is, sounds weird considering we conceded two goals. I thought they were pretty solid. I thought Maguire was was decent. I thought um, thought Lindelof dealt with a lot of stuff in the channels really really well. Um, yeah, overall it was a decent performance from United. And like I say, it was frustrating that we conceded two goals. Certainly the way we did. But I mean, when do United ever do things the easy way? And it was reminiscent of the countless times we've seen that on the on the, the, the gaffer Sir Alex Ferguson. I mean, remember 2013, we did exactly the same. And RVP scored an hat-trick to get us to come back two, from, two goals down at St. Mary's. Eerily reminiscent to that today. Um, but fair play. I mean, I was thinking at two goals down, everyone's going to get on Ollie's case, even though Ollie, I don't think any of the, any of the problems today was Ollie's fault. It was down, down to the, the players and the individuals. And thankfully, the individuals saw enough to get themselves out of the mess that they put themselves in. And like I say, it sets us up pretty well, considering how shit our start to the season's been, to be in sixth place, only four points, well, five points off the top, with a game in hand, that's not bad. Consider we've not even we've got a month to go till Christmas. We're not even halfway through the season. If we can be in the top four at the halfway point and only three or four points off the top, that puts us in a very, very good position moving forward. And who knows what happens in the rest of the season. But let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments. Like I said, let me know if you think Daya should have done better with that Ward Prowse free kick. And let me know, should Cavani start? should be our starting number nine right now. Let me know in the comments, but bang a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll see you lot in a bit.